So this same question is asked in my comment section probably every single day. And it's one of the biggest things in the art community because it's probably the favorite map of all time for, for people in the art community. I could be wrong about that because obviously I absolutely love Aberration. But just all the time, you know, if you're an old school Ark Survival Evolve player, you know, once you finish the map, it's always time to go back to Ragnarok. Today, you guys, we're going to be talking about Ragnarok. Obviously, I can't give you guys any confirmed release dates or anything because the devs just haven't spoken about it. But what I'm going to be doing in this video, because I get this question asked every single video, is just explain to you guys what's most likely happening in the background. We're going to be talking, uh, going through things that are being talked in the Discord through other players, and then when we could potentially see this map. I know it's very, very frustrating, guys, and I just wanted to put this point out there so people can kind of have an understanding of what's going on because I know Ragnarok was actually meant to be coming out last month. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here, and let's dive in to the world of Ark Ragnarok. So yes, as you will be able to see by the old roadmap, which by the way, some people that even, you know, play Ark these days don't even know this roadmap exists. But this was the roadmap that was announced last year at Extra Life 2023. And, and pretty much it was going okay in the early days. It, um, Ark Survival Ascended launched on the PC October 23rd. Survival of the Fittest then launched December 2023. Pretty much dead now, by the way, Ark Survival of the Fittest absolutely nowhere to see no one plays it anymore and i think wildcard are kind of just giving up on it which is really really upsetting because um you know it, i personally love it i think it's a lot of fun but i understand arc isn't a battle royale game i just think it had potential compared to a lot of, of the uh, other ones and arc survival of the fittest was actually one of the first big battle royales in the early days of like 2015 2016 then obviously early 2024 the animated series launched and then in march 2024 pretty much was on time for scorched earth it came on like april 2nd i think then may 2024 was the center that came at the start of june and then obviously the biggest delay came with arc aberration meant to come july 2024 ending up releasing in september so that had many people asking questions when is ragnarok coming out and is ragnarok the next map coming to the game now, in the most recent community crunch, one of the most recent community crunches, we were told that Ark Extinction is now coming in December 2024, which means I cannot see Valgero coming out until 2025, which is also making a lot of players thinking now Extinction's been announced. That could mean that Ragnarok may be pushed into 2025 as well. Now, is the biggest question many people have been asking is, is there a chance Ragnarok can still come this year? Yes, there is. But do I want to give you do I want to give you hope? Like, you know, I don't want to give you that. I, I, if I were you, I would just not even think about it coming out this year at the moment. But is there a chance? Yes, there is. And I'll explain that later in the video. So let's go through this little discord conversation here and um, with people talking. So someone said, what happened to Ragnarok? Will it be after extinction? And this one said Ragnarok more like Ragnarok. No. Extinction should have been released ages ago. Last date is 15th of December. I don't even know what that even means. To be honest. Um, and then someone called Fury said, Rags Prob delayed for two things. One has no cre uh, voted creature anymore. And Prob's wildcard wanting to keep a close eye on development since the center was uh, horrible. Extinction has the last voted creature and the final Bob's Tool Tales expansion. They might do more creature votes for the other maps and a new Bob's expansion that you can buy for the next year. And Fury, you are absolutely correct. Um, I really, really liked reading these posts from Fury because he's got his knowledge very good. Um, and um, as you'll be able to see, obviously, yeah, Ragnarok has no voted creature anymore because I think if I was correct, wasn't it the Gigantoraptor that was meant to be Ragnarok's creature? And then it was changed to be the center's creature. And then it came out as a mod because the center was delayed. Um, and all of that stuff. And then the other guy goes on to say again, it was delayed because they are still remastering Extinction. And if they didn't delay Rag, next map will also get, get delayed and so on. And Fury says, yes, but Extinction was meant to be released after Rag in the original roadmap. Rag's not delayed because of Extinction. 
Rag is delayed because it's mostly not being close to being finished since it's a different studio remastering it. So yes, some points to cover here. So Rag, um, so from what we kind of know since the center came out is that obviously Studio Wildcard do not have the team to be able to create and release all of these maps fast enough. Um, and obviously they've got a roadmap they've got to stick to. So for the center, they had to bring in a third party studio to remaster the center. And obviously a lot of people weren't a massive fan of it when it came out. So I'm guessing the thing with Rag at the moment is because it's such a popular map in the world of Ark, you know, you know, with this map, if this map ends up getting remastered by a third party studio and then is a, is a fail, is a flop, this is really bad for the Ark brand because Ragnarok is a map that so many people play on and still play to this day on Ark Survival Evolve. Then the next thing coming up was um, uh, this guy Mike said, I haven't seen this on, on an old roadmap. It was Extinction first. You don't understand there is no rag or do you think they are working on all maps at the same time? A different studio that is news to me. So if it's, if it's delayed, it's that studio's fault. And then you can see Fury here saying there are there's two studios making ASA maps. Wildcard isn't making both story and modded maps. The people behind the center will be doing the modded maps. And if they didn't hire another studio to do the rest after the center issues, but probs not. Look up the roadmap on Google and, and all of them show Rag before Extinction. Clearly just spreading information you don't know much about. There was an original roadmap before ASA launched and it was releasing uh, and, and that was releasing Scorch in 2023 that failed. And they did a new roadmap with Scorch in March. Rag September, Extinction in October and people are shocked Extinction coming out before Rag since we haven't had any info and it was planned beforehand. Yes, it's probably been delayed. They don't want to announce anything until they are certain. And then, as you can see, GhostDB, who's always in the Discord, I think might be one of the ARC mods, said the roadmaps are always sub subject to change, but their third party could be having issues with RAG, or they could have simply wanted Extinction out first. They didn't give us a reason. And Fury said, yes, that's correct, and why so many people were shocked for the announcement. Though I still hope they do more creature votes for the remaining, since RAG doesn't have one anymore. And then, obviously, GhostDB said, you could be right, they're waiting for Extinction for the next votes. Um, um, and could be why they've chosen to release it first. And then Fury said, "Rag def be next, uh, definitely be next year, probably around March, since it's Extinction, a long map with with uh, the bosses compared to the previous maps that can be completed within a month for most people." So I, I liked all of this. Um, I have to say, Fury and obviously GoCB with some good information there. And uh, by the way, I'm not saying Mike has got his information wrong. Um, obviously, well, obviously he's got the information wrong, but I mean that it's sometimes it's hard to find the information out there. If you're not someone that watches YouTube, if you're not someone that keeps it on and touch on Twitter, and you're not someone that's in, um, I guess he's in the, the Arc Discord, but it's hard to sometimes keep up to date with all of this stuff that's going on. You know, like extra live streams. You know, if you're not massively into your social media, you might not know these things, right? Um, and, that, and that's what happens, and it can be hard to know what's going on. But if I'm going to be giving you my honest opinion of how I think this is going to happen for the rest of the year. So, right. If there, if so, we've got one more map releasing for the rest of 2024. So remove Valgero, because that's definitely not happening. And let's put Ragnarok to the side for a second. So if... If Ragnarok does release this year, it will be by a third party studio and it would have to come before Extinction, which would mean it would have to launch either this month or November. Now, can I see that happening? I don't think so. Also, we're getting a surprise in November 2024. This, by the way, won't be a release in my personal opinion. I think this will just be an announcement for the next new DLC coming in um, probably in 2025. So by the looks of things right now, I would most likely put your hopes on 2025 for Ragnarok. Um, and it's a real shame because for me, looking at this roadmap, it's already such a long term roadmap. You know, Fjorda being October 2025, it's just an insane time away into the future. Um, so this is why, the, you know, with the roadmap being pushed back so much, it's just an all a bit too crazy. And that's why I'm thinking with this new Ark Survival Ascended Surprise DLC, will that now come after Genesis Part 2? Because it's meant to be the storyline after Genesis Part 2. 
So maybe it will come. So that will then push back even more maps, if that makes sense. So it is kind of a bit of a muddle at the moment. It would be good if Studio Wildcard could give us another roadmap. But to be honest, the reason why they won't, and I don't think they will, it'd be great if they did, is because they just can't, as a company, they just have never managed to stick to dates. And that's just the way it's been. Um, you know, be, if you're an ARC player, you just know that, unfortunately, Studio Wildcard will never be able to hit the dates they say. And that's just the way things are. Um, and if you're an ARC player, that's just what you have to accept. It's upsetting. It's frustrating. I know. I feel the same pain as you guys too. Um, it would be amazing if one day Studio Wildcard had this massive revelation and change. And then they managed to hit their dates all the time moving forward. Um, but I can't see that happening anytime soon personally. Um, and I think that's just the Studio Wildcard way. Um, so yeah, I'd say for the rest of the year, guys, I would just expect to see the Ark Survival Ascended Surprise in November, which I think is November the 2nd. Then Extinction now coming in December. I think that's the best you can really look forward to, which to be honest is still cool, but I think it would have really been a great end to 2024 if we managed to see Rag and then we saw Extinction. But anyway, that's all I can uh, literally tell you on Ragnarok right now. There's no developer information on it. There's nothing going on. So all I can do is make this video and the next one you'll see is when we finally get news on it. Much love to you all. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. See you guys then.